My name's Amber Rhoda. This is Elko Middle School's eighth grade physical science class. Today we're going to be reviewing speed and working on some problems as whole group and groups. All right. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, in front of you, you should have at this time finished your warm up uh, task. I'm going to come around and collect those. I'm going to choose my favorite no. That means the one that might have some problems with it, but we're going to correct it together. No names, don't worry. All right, if you could collect those into a pile for me, guys, that way I could grab them. I gotta grab that. Thank you, thank you. And Miss Jocelyn, are you all set? No. Right, I'm just gonna take what you have, okay? Okay, Mr. Steven, still working. All right, so last class we had just started. We finished our Sphero lab, okay, and we introduced our speed triangle. We're going to be using that a lot today. Okay, I think I have my favorite. No, you ready? Okay. So over here on this board, eyeballs on me. All right, so our first question was to set up our speed, or speed equation. This is what was given. Okay, our next problem says calculate the speed of a horse that walked 54 miles in six hours. And this is what was written. Okay, so no names, putting this down, I can't even remember who it was. So give me a couple good things you see. Raise hands when you see something good that's going on. Unique, what do you see? They set the equation up right, absolutely. Okay, what else do you see? D uh, equals 54. D equals 54, okay, our distance did equal 54. I have a question. Are these the right units for distance? Somebody tell me what they're supposed to be. <laughs> Go ahead, Micah, that's fine. Meters, or in this case it was miles, but the M, right? So we're going to get rid of that. Or I'm going to do this in red. And by red I mean blue. Okay, we're going to get rid of per seconds. This is just miles, okay? Our time was given as six. And that's supposed to be, have some units here as well, right? We're going to call that hours. We love units. If there's a number on their paper, there should be a unit attached to it. So I know what that number is, always. Okay. So how about when we plugged our numbers into the equation? How's that look? What's going on here? Shia, what do you see? You see letters. Okay, no numbers are plugged in. What, what are we supposed to be plugging in here? Say that louder. The distance, the, the distance and the time, just like up here, right? Okay, so we have our distance. We know that's 54 miles. And what's our time? Um, six, hours. six hours. So I'm going to get rid of this distance. We're going to call that time. Okay. Now we have this saying it's 324 miles. Can somebody do that math on their calculator for me and tell me what it is? Is this correct? Okay. When you have the answer on your calculator, raise your hand. I want everybody to try this out. Come on guys, you got this. All right, Jocelyn, help me out. What do you have? You have nine, nine what? Nine um, miles per hour. Okay, what I saw here, what I liked about this, I like how we had the equation set up. I love that our variables were listed so you know what they are. 
Some improvements that I'd like to see made, I want to make sure that we are plugging the right numbers in, that's why we do the variables, and I want to see units on every single number, okay? All right, how are we feeling about this? Give me a thumbs up for good, a thumbs medium for okay, and a thumbs down for I need some help. You can keep it close to you if you need that. All right, thanks guys, go ahead and put those down. All right, well don't worry, we're gonna have plenty of practice with this today, all right? I'm gonna leave this up on the board as an example. Oh, and I wanna go over one more thing before we do our uh, Kagan rotation with music, okay? Who likes the Trolls soundtrack here? <laughs> You're gonna love it. We're gonna wake up bright and early and do this the right way. All right, so one more thing eyeballs on me. What if I told you instead of speed, I wanted you to find distance? How am I gonna know how to manipulate this? Trinity, help me out. Multiply your, your D times your S. Oh, what did I ask you to find? Oh, I asked you time. What about that triangle we talked about? I'm going to leave this on the board, too. You should draw this on every single paper. Okay. Remember, it's in alphabetical order, and the highest point goes on the highest top of the triangle. What goes here? What do you got? Distance. Distance. S and then T. Okay, I'm going to leave this on the board too. Okay. Capital, as long as you know what it is, I'm okay with that. All right, so what we're about to do, guys, I have a paper with 10 problems on it. Okay? You're going to start by working with the person sitting next to you. Okay? Um, if you want to pop over and work over here, that we have a partner, that'd be good. You each, you each have your own paper, one person's going to be person number one, the next person will be person number two. Person number one completes the first question and explains how they got it. Person number two does question number two, does the whole problem and explains how you got that answer. When I play the troll soundtrack, you are to get up, find a brand new partner, somebody different, somebody maybe you haven't worked with, okay? and then work on three and four the same way. Any questions on the procedure? Okay, we good? Yes, Shia. Can you what? Yes, please sharpen your pencil. Hello, dear. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna pass these out. We're gonna wake up the right way. Once you have your paper, you may begin working with the person sitting directly next to you. All right, so in case you haven't started yet, number one, a boat is traveling at a speed of 36 kilometers per hour. It has to travel a distance of 210 kilometers. How long will it take? So, with your partner, decide who's gonna be person number one. Take 10 seconds, look at your partner, talk. Who's person number one? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Person number one, raise your hand. Good, 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 good. Okay, person number one, I need you to explain to your partner how you are solving this problem. You may write along, you may help them. I should hear everybody talking. So our problem is a boat traveling at a speed of 36 km per hour has to travel a distance of 210 km. How long will it take? How long? What's your keyword? How long? Okay. So time. So why don't we write down our equation that we're looking for? Okay. So if you covered up time, you have D divided by S. Good job. Okay, so remember, you're telling me you need this, okay? Now what? Now what are you doing? <laughs> okay. All right, so now what are you doing, Trinity? So you would, you would divide, you would divide, you would put the 210 on top. Okay, why? Because that's the distance. Very good. Don't forget your units. 210 what? Very good. Okay. Divided by what? 36 kilometers. 36 kilometers per hour. There you go. Oh, I love the slash. That means divide, right? Very good. Want me to help you get started on it? 
Very good. Okay. So did you hear what she was saying? Okay. So if you want to draw your triangle on your top of your paper, that way it's easy to easy to have, easy to look at. Okay. So what goes on top? Very good. What goes on bottom? And what else? Very good. You're so smart. Okay. So this says how long. What does that mean? Time. Okay. So cover up your T. What are you left with? D divided by S. Very good. Okay. All right. Make sure you're explaining out loud. If you want to do it first and then explain it, that's good. Would you like some assistance? Yes. Okay. All right. Do we have a triangle set up on top? Doing it now? Awesome. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we have S, we have D. Why don't you put T there so we can figure out which one we're looking for? So what's our keyword that tells us what we're looking for? How, how long. So what does that mean? What are we looking for? Time. So why don't you put a question mark next to the T? Now let's list these variables. What's our speed? 30, 36 what? Kilometers per hour. Per hour. Make sure, remember, if there's a number, there's a unit attached to it, okay? Okay. All right. Now distance is 210 what? Kilometers. KM. Okay, now we're looking for time. Now remember with our triangle, we're covering up what we're looking for. What's left behind? Very good, distance over speed. So once you write out your equation. Okay. Um, I love how you set that up, but make sure you write out your whole, like with the letters first, so I know that you know what you're doing, okay? So if you're doing time, you would put time equals D divided by S. Okay. Okay. What'd you get? Excellent. So so equals. Put your answer here. I would put just one three. Okay. Now what are your units? You were looking for time, right? Okay. So what was the time in here? Ten. So this is the time, but what's our unit that we're going to add to it? Part of it. So we have KM here and KM here. Hold on, hold, wait, wait, wait. But we're dividing these, right? These units cancel. What's left behind? Hours. Does that make sense that time is hours? Yeah, it does. Okay, so 5.83 hours. HR. Okay? All right, why don't you try that next one? I'll come and check on you in a minute. All right. How we doing? Do we understand? We use words, right? Okay, don't put that away. We're gonna use it still, and you're gonna be moving. I'm not. I'm just gonna. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Taking it with you. I got gotcha. you. This is beautiful. Oh, and you have your units. Good job. Excellent. All right, person number two. Did you get to go? Okay. Beautiful. All right. Okay. So I'm going to play the music to get up and move. I know you haven't finished your second one quite yet, so keep working on it for just a minute. All right. I'm not. I'm going to be upset if it's not done for this round. Okay. You can always go back and do it as you practice. All right. Beautiful. Just one and two. So we're about to move. So real quick. We are going to be physically standing up and finding a brand new person to work with. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Here's the deal, though. We have a couple rules we need to put in place, right? We should not be touching our friends in any way, shape, or form. You need to walk with your hands by your side. You need a pencil in one hand, your paper in the other. Okay? All right? So no touching. One second. When I play the music, I want you to stand up. You need to find a brand new uh, person. You need to stay at these six tables, please. You can sit anywhere in the room at these six tables. When I stop the music, whoever's closest to you, that's who you sit down with. 
And we're going to do this again and again. We have two more times to do it. All right? Okay. So you did one and two. What are the next two we're going to be doing? Three and four. So circle three and four so you know what you're doing. I need your pencil in one hand. I need your paper in the other hand. When you stand up, I need you to push your chair in so nobody's tripping. Ready, set, go. Move, 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 move. That looks perfect, good job. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You can't stand next to somebody you want to work with. You got to find somebody brand new. Sounds on in my pocket. Got that. Stop. Sit down with your new partner. Go find a partner. Who we got? You're working with Jordan. Sit down, sit down. All right, 10 seconds to decide who's person number one. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Person number one, raise your hand. Good, 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 good. Person number one, are you person number one? Yes. You are now. Okay. All right, person number one, please begin on three. You are verbalizing how you are solving your problem. Would what? Yes, it would. So travels 300 km. So the unit, very good, very good. All right, how are we doing? Who's person number one? Okay. All right, so you're explaining what you're doing, right? Why don't you start with what equation you're using and why? Okay. How are we doing? Super duper, super amazing. This, so we're a little more than medium? Okay, I got you. All right, so you are person number one. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Okay. What is the speed? So speed's your uh, keyword, right? I love your equation. Way to use that. Now, my only thing I'm going to say here, what are these numbers missing? Units. Go ahead and put those on. Well, then that's just more work for you. Okay, good equation, good setup. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into my classroom. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.